Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, when it comes to beauty, who doesn't want to know the secret to picture-perfect skin? Now, we're about to embark on an 18-week Getting Under Your Skin series where we're going to uncover South African celebrities' beauty secrets. And while we're at it, learn something about them that you probably didn't know. First up, we join someone who definitely knows a thing or two about beauty, former Miss South Africa Melinda Bam. Take a look. Former beauty queen Melinda Bam is known for her style and flawless skin. And as South Africans admired her face, she became fascinated with the faces of South Africa. I'm Melinda Bam, and I think South Africans know me as a former Miss South Africa, perhaps even a beauty queen. But I'd like for them to think of me as a businesswoman and an entrepreneur as well. Something that I think South Africa doesn't know about me is that I'm an artist. I think people see uh, the blonde hair and they see the evening gowns, but they don't know that I've got a sincere love and passion for art. And I focus a lot on, on sketches of people and our faces and features. And I think that's probably the most beautiful part that you can capture of South Africa. And that's definitely something that I'd love to showcase to the world. Ever since I started sketching people's faces and painting, I almost became so incredibly aware of the fact that your skin is probably the, the most precious gift that you have that you need to take care of because I focus literally for hours on end on people's skin and on their faces and the light little, little pores and shadows and marks sometimes. I think that's why I've started taking uh, good care of my skin as well because I, I know that that's the one thing that people will always see. They'll always look at that first. Um, so why not take care of it? On a warm winter's day in Johannesburg, Melinda let us in on the daily steps she takes to help her maintain radiant skin. My skincare regime to me seems quite basic, but it consists of five to six steps sometimes. Um, and it's become so part of my daily routine that it, it goes by so quickly anyway. Uh, so I start off by using a pre cleanse to remove all of my makeup to make sure that there's nothing left. Then cleanse, exfoliate, uh, either with exfoliate brush, which, is, which really comes in handy when you wear a lot of makeup and you have to be in the sun quite a lot and you have to be outdoors. Uh, or enzyme exfoliator and then to tone, moisturize and then apply sunscreen in my moisturizer. I always make sure to um, use a moisturizer that has a 30 to a 50 SPF in. As we age, our skin begins to change and slowly loses its elasticity. However, maintaining a youthful glow takes a lot of healthy nutrition and discipline. I've got a couple of don'ts that, that I really tend to, to pay attention to. The first one is definitely never to sleep with makeup. It doesn't matter how late you get in or how early you need to wake up in the morning or whatever, to make sure that you never, ever, ever go to bed uh, with makeup so that the regenerative process in your skin can take place at night. And then never to leave the house without sunscreen. We live in South Africa, we have to wear sunscreen. Otherwise, we're going to look 50 when we're in our 20s. The other one is not to touch your face. Um, I think we are very, we as women are very expressive and we talk with our hands and we touch people and we touch things and we, I mean, there's so much uh, bacteria and things and then we often speak and we touch our faces and we correct our lip gloss and rub our, our makeup off and we don't actually realize how much bacteria we put on our face and that actually damages your skin. So those are the three big don'ts for me. Something that I really look out for in a product, having very sensitive skin, is that it needs to be a natural product. Uh, I don't use any products that have harsh chemicals in them uh, or that are genetically modified or anything artificial because I, I strive to have a natural looking, natural glowing skin and how better to achieve all of that than with a natural product. And then of course to have a, a product that is catered to the South African climate. Our climate isn't like Europe, uh, it's not like Paris or London where we get some of these Brands. So I think it's really important to have a product that is also catered for our harsh sun, um, our dry conditions and our cold winters as well. I think healthy eating and good skin goes hand in hand. Uh, people often tend to uh, the external a little bit more than to the internal, but I think you reap the rewards far better with a healthy diet, uh, drinking certain uh, supplements like folic acids and, and things that really keep your skin healthy and glowing. I know that there are various products on the market. I know Emmadine, for instance, has a, a healthy anti-aging uh, skin tablet that really has natural ingredients that make sure that you nourish your body from the inside out so that you can really start glowing from the outside. 
I think it is difficult in today's pace um, and the pace of society to make sure that you don't overexert yourself and everything shows on your skin. So if you don't want to look 60 when you are 30, then start now. Start applying a, a healthy skincare routine to make sure that you take good care of yourself. Now that woman is magnificent, yeah. and that's quite a brave thing to do: is wash to, your yeah, face to take and all your makeup, makeup on. I, I personally wouldn't do it. <laughs> just saying, just putting it out there. And she was giving it a good rub I as know, well. It was I know, a proper face wash. Beautiful skin. It looks like exactly. a baby's bottom. And she did make a really good point, though, which I find quite valid. Your skin, you can wash it and do whatever you want on the outside, but it's what you put on the inside, though, that really does reflect on the outside. So it's uh, eating healthily, drinking lots of water. Lots I know she of used, water. Yeah, she used this, that product, Imidine, that I've heard of because Christy Turlington is actually the global ambassador for yes, it as well. Yeah, yeah. And Christy Turlington, well, it's I mean, she's a yogi. Yeah. So. She's perfection. Yeah. Um, but I also find, I mean, sleeping just exercise yes and of course um just cutting down on the glass of wine a day yeah that I makes find a if huge I eat difference rubbish, <laughs> I, if i have a really sugary binge then i feel yeah, then like it shows skin skin. Skin. i mean if i just have to have a slab of chocolate and i'm done for like i'll just get a big chorb the next day really? but you know what like i can never emphasize enough the importance of drinking water exactly so what i've taken to doing now every morning is i before i wake up before i even get out of bed i have a glass of warm water with lemon daily lemon water it I do every single day. Life Instead changing. Of tea. Yeah, I, yeah. So I cut. I don't drink tea or coffee. I drink lemon water as yeah. my tea in the day. Yeah. Oh, that is magic for skin. And another amazing thing for skin is uh, getting enough omega threes, getting all your oils in. Mm. Yeah. And she said, uh, Melinda actually said that she uses folic acid as well. That yes. is the most vital vitamin for anybody mm. to use. Mm. Okay. And I mean, I guess if you're taking your daily multivitamin, you're getting all of that in one little exactly power. Beautiful skin so. all over. Someone else with sweet baby skin is down below. And he's <laughs> going to be back making more of those little brudgies after the break. <laughs>